Well, what's going on guys and welcome back to the video that like 85 of you have been waiting for and that is the results of the Pokemon March Madness Tournament. Now for those of you who don't know, this tournament has been taking place over the past two weeks and it pitted 64 of uh, the most popular Pokemon in existence against each other until we got down to our final champion, which we have. But before we get to the actual champion, let's take a look at the rest of the bracket and see if there were any kind of crazy upsets or uh, what's going on before we get to our winner. So as we look at the bracket here, um, it, for the first round, pretty chalky. And uh, for those of you who don't know, chalky means that the higher seed um, has won. And um, I guess that just means I kind of like seeded them pretty well <laughs> and guessed which ones you think would, would do better. Um, uh, I think only one upset and maybe two. Let me look through here real quick. Yeah, I'm, th I'm seeing one upset from the first round and that is 12 seed Cinescorch beating out Infernape, which was a huge shock to me. Um, but yeah, we had that happen. And getting into the round of 32, almost the exact same story. We have most all of the higher seeds winning, besides a couple uh, small seed differences, like a five Sylveon versus a four Lucario. Uh, Sylveon moved on in that chance. I don't consider that much of an upset. Um, one big one we had was the Cinderella of the entire tournament, and that is six seed Rayquaza, which honestly, in my opinion, I think I may have underseeded them. Um, beat three seed Espeon. Uh, another, um, uh, upset we have is six seed for alligator beating three seed Mimikyu that one actually was quite a shock But I love that my boy for alligator pulled through and got to the sweet 16 and then another upset We had was seven seed Entei beating two seed Greninja a Matchup that I saw Greninja taking in a landslide and that was just not the case as Entei um, Proved to be more popular and moved on all right, so looking at our Sweet 16 matchups, uh, let's go ahead and sh I'm gonna show you guys or tell you guys the percentages of um, and how many votes. Some of these had way less votes than others. I don't really understand. But for the Pikachu Sylveon matchup, we had 37 votes, and Pikachu won that one 62% to 38%. Going down to the Gyarados and Lugia part of the brackets, um, we had 40 votes on this one. Lugia moves on with a 65% to 35%. Uh, I know I had one um, one subscriber, one viewer was always commenting, saying to vote for Gyarados, he wanted Gyarados to win. Unfortunately, that Gyarados was knocked out here in the Sweet 16. Our next matchup on the left side of the bracket here, we have Eevee versus Blaziken. Uh, one seed versus a four seed here. Um, Eevee pretty handily uh, won this one. 45 votes, 67% uh, for Eevee, 33% for Blaziken. And then we get to the final Sweet 16 part of the bracket in the Masuda region, and that is the 6 seed Rayquaza versus 2 seed Blastoise. Now this one only had 21 votes for some reason. I guess people didn't scroll down to see the rest of the, the matchups they could vote on. But Rayquaza won this one handily. 71% to 29%. 6 seed Rayquaza beating 2 seed Blastoise. A huge upset here. I didn't see this one coming, but Rayquaza kept that train going into the final rounds. And we get over here to the Tajiri region of the matchups, and we had one seed Charizard versus two, or sorry, four seed Tyranitar, and unfortunately, this one was kind of close. Um, we had 59% in favor of Charizard. Unfortunately, my boy Titar got put out of the tournament here, but only 22 votes on this one, so that was kind of a shocker that there wasn't that many votes on this one. And we move down to the other part of the Tajiri bracket, and we had three seed Mew just running away from seven seed Entei. 80% of the votes went to Mew. We had 44 votes on this one. Um, huge thank you to all the guys that are all the people out there that participated in this tournament. I forgot to say that at the beginning, but huge thank you to everyone who participated. Um, couldn't have done the tournament without you. And getting down into the Ishihara region, we have one seed Mewtwo versus four seed Dragonite. I thought this one was going to be a lot closer than it ended up being. We had 41 votes on this one. One seed Mewtwo walked away with a 68% so 68% of the votes while Dragonite only had 32%. That one was a bit of a shocker for me. I thought it would be a lot closer, but I did think Mewtwo would push forward. And the last of the Sweet 16 matchups we have here in the Ishihara region, we had six seed for Alligator, two seed Umbreon. Uh, unfortunately, for Alligator got a bad matchup here. Uh, my boy got put out by Umbreon, which I did expect. Um, Umbreon came away with 67%, while for Alligator only had 33%, and we had 21 votes on this matchup. It's unfortunate, but I knew for Alligator would be put out eventually. I'm just glad he uh, made it to the Sweet 16. All right, as we move into the Elite Eight, here's where things get very interesting, and I'm—I don't know—I just I'm going off of how I said I would do things. 
because if we take a look at our first matchup in the, region, the Arita region, the championship of the Arita region, we had one seed Pikachu versus two seed Lugia. I thought this one was going to be very close, and sure enough, it was. Now, at the time that I called the votes, I gave everyone 48 hours to vote on this. Pikachu had the lead 51% to 49%. But, that, but as I record this on March the 25th, Lugia actually has more votes at 54%, but during the voting period, Pikachu did walk away. Uh, we're up to 56 votes now. I'm not sure how many we had at the time, but um, we did have Pikachu moving on there. It's unfortunate because I did want to see Lugia in the Final Four, and if I would have had a longer voting period, he would have ended up in the Final Four. But we have to have uh, Pikachu in the Final Four because of the parameters I set up. Now we move on to the Masuda Region Championship between the one seed Eevee and six seed Rayquaza, and this is where Rayquaza's Cinderella story was really set in stone. He ran away with this one. Six seed Rayquaza had 76% of the votes. Eevee had 24%, 41 votes total. This was a huge shocker for me, and Rayquaza moved on to the final four. Going over to the Tajiri region, we had one seed Charizard, three seed Mew. Uh, this one wasn't a surprise. We had 47 votes here. Charizard uh, came away with 62%, while Mew had only 38%. I mean, the, that's to be expected. I, I imagine Charizard would be in the championship match anyways. But the final of the Elite Eight matchups, uh, it was a bit of a toss-up for me, and it was actually very, very close. We had Mewtwo, the one seed Mewtwo, versus two seed Umbreon. Um, it could have gone either way for me. Uh, we had 52 votes, Mewtwo came away with 54%, Umbreon had 46%, and Mewtwo moved on to the final four. So our final four um, Pokemon that made it this far are one seed Pikachu, six seed Rayquaza, one seed Charizard, and one seed Mewtwo. Um, Rayquaza just just in there blows my mind. I, I thought maybe Blastoise would come out of the, the Masuda region bracket, but Rayquaza really coming in strong. All right, as we get into these final four matchups, we have the one seed Pikachu versus six seed Rayquaza. Now this is where I thought for sure Rayquaza's Cinderella story would come to an end. However, Rayquaza coming through with 66% of the votes, while Pikachu only had 34% of the votes. We had 68 votes on this one, so a pretty big sample size. And Rayquaza came through and has advanced to the championship round absolutely insane. I thought for sure this would be a Pikachu Charizard in the, fi in the finale, but that is not the case. Now the Charizard Mewtwo matchup actually be it was a lot, a lot closer than I expected. Um, after I ended the voting, after two days, um, the reason that the voting was still on, you could still vote on it after the two days I said, is because you can't set a time limit on the, the YouTube community tab on how long these are up for. So I just left them up so people could still see and look at them um, if they wanted to. But um, at the time, of the voting being ended, Charizard had 51% and Mewtwo had 49%. But as the recording of this, um, like I said earlier, on March the 25th, it's actually um, exactly tied. We have 60 votes and we have 50% Charizard, 50% Mewtwo, but I do think Charizard gets the edge here because, you know, during that voting period I said you get 48 hours and during that after that 48 hours was up, Charizard did have the upper hand, but it's just interesting to see after the fact that some of these have actually changed. Now here we are guys, this is the moment you've been waiting for, we're about to announce our winner of the 2021 Pokemon March Madness Tournament. I think I'm going to do this every year, but I think I'm going to mix it up. I think having 8 Pokemon from each region made it very chalky and the top seeds really move forward. I think I'm just going to go like the, the top 64 most popular Pokemon. Um, in the next year's tournament because there are Pokemon that I realized that I that got left out just because you can only have eight Pokemon per generation Get Pokemon like Gengar got left out um, That's just one example like that. I, I want Gengar to be in this tournament next time around so we'll see um, I'll make some changes next year around but make sure you're subscribed so you can uh, participate in that come next March Here we are guys the championship round we have one seed Charizard the powerhouse the number one overall seed of the whole tournament the one that I thought would come away with this championship versus Cinderella Story 6 Seed Rayquaza took down the likes of Eevee, um, Blastoise, Espeon, uh, Metagross, took down some real, real tough contenders. And in our championship match, of course, it was a close one with 76 votes. The winner, who had 51% of the votes, is 6 Seed Rayquaza. 
That's right, six seed Rayquaza came home with 51% of the votes, while one seed Charizard had 49% of the votes. Absolutely just stunned that this is how this tournament panned out. And you guys have selected Rayquaza as the champion of the 2021 March Madness Pokemon Tournament. I I love it. I love that it wasn't Charizard that won, but it, it was just, it, it was cool. I'm, I'm glad you guys uh, participated. I hope you did like it, and um, yeah. Let's, uh, let's go back to the face cam. So yeah, pretty successful tournament in my opinion. Thanks to you guys out there for who all voted. Um, obviously, I couldn't have done it without you. Um, yeah, it was a lot of fun. I love doing this kind of stuff. I did, as I mentioned before, I did it a couple years ago with a video game characters uh, tournament. Uh, let me know in the comments down below if you think if you can think of any other ideas I could do for next year's tournament. Um, I know not a whole lot of people watched the first video. It was only like 80 something like I said before, but I don't care. I, I make videos for me because I like to do it. And if people enjoy them, then that's great. I'm, I'm glad that they do. But yeah, that is going to wrap it up. Huge shout out to our champion, Six Seed Rayquaza. Absolute Cinderella story coming through, taking down the big bad Charizard. But uh, yeah. If you haven't already, make sure you leave a like rating down below. Make sure you subscribe, and until next time, stay legendary.